Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode. Um, so for this episode, we are gonna be replacing some uh, e-brake cables on the good old TDI back here. Um, I think it's a pretty common issue for these Mark IVs where the e-brake just stops working eventually because I think what happens is the cables rot, rot through um, and then they don't pull the e-brake anymore. So uh, I'm gonna, I just bought some off of Amazon. They're just some Dorman brand new cables. So I'm gonna put this up on the lift and uh, we'll try to get these replaced. Before I do that, I'm gonna have to take apart the inside. Just take the center console off and di disconnect the cables in there. And after that, we're gonna put it on the lift and we're gonna get the bottom. All right, so just getting under here, you can already tell like right here how corroded this line is. So whenever you pull the e-brake inside, the line just collapses instead of actually pulling the little lever back there. So it's definitely an issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. The worst part is gonna be taking them off up here because I'm gonna have to probably drop legs off a little bit and drop this heat shield. But other than that, it should be pretty simple to do. All right guys, so I put it all back together and then I realized that I forgot to swap over these tube things right here. They kind of uh, go into the car with the, with the rest of the, um, with the e-brake cable. This is, they just go on the end like this. And this is the part that actually goes inside of the car. Um, I just thought that the new ones were just cheap and they just didn't have them, but it doesn't work without them, so I gotta take them off and uh, put them on the new cables real quick, so that means I gotta drop legs off again, and yeah, should be uh, after that. All right guys, so the e-brake now officially works. And I, I was a little bit worried about the calipers being rusty and you know, if I pull the e-brake that it won't go back, but it actually worked very well. 
everything's good. So yeah, now when I pull the e-brake, it actually does something and the car is out of gear. Oh, it wasn't gear, but now it is out of gear. So the car is out of gear, the e-brake's pulled up and check this out. It ain't moving. Right, Izzy? Hey, Izzy, where'd you go? Let me check this one. Check it. So, e brake down. It's moving. Oh, yeah, it is. E brake at one click. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on. Two clicks. Three clicks. Resistance, yeah. Four clicks. Man, this, 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 this cable is bad, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh, ho, ho, you see? No, it's still moving. Ah, uh, it's not strong enough anymore. About eight clicks for it not to move. So yeah, this Thanks. was the eight-click cable upgrade. Thank you for that scientific experiment. Oh. All right, guys. Oh man, the DSM is gonna be back soon-ish. Hopefully, I got the engine at uh, a machine shop right now. They're making sure everything's good. I just don't want. It. It blowing up again, so I figured I'd pay the money and have them make sure that it's all good. And that way I kind of have that peace of mind. So yeah, there's gonna be some videos coming out on the VSM soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave us a comment, a like the video obviously and subscribe to the channel for more car content. Uh, there will be more. And also follow us on Instagram. Um, I'm gonna put the link below. It's just got a big break kit over there that he's not recording. So, yep. Peace out guys. See you in the next video, maybe. Or maybe I won't be there. Right, Izzy?